My name is Janneke Hilaris Lambers. I'm from the Netherlands, but I spent my childhood in Southeast Asia, where my father was a scientist at the International Rice Research Institute. I received all my academic training from the United States, um, receiving a bachelor's degree at University of Virginia, my PhD at Duke University in North Carolina, and then completing two postdocs, one at University of Minnesota and the second at University of California in Santa Barbara. For the last 13 years, I've been a professor of plant ecology at University of Washington in Seattle. And two months ago, I arrived here in Zurich to start a position as a professor of plant ecology at DEUSIS at ETH. I'm a plant community ecologist, which means that I am fascinated to know what are the factors that determine the collection of species that you find in any one location. So as ecologists, we know the answer to this question is complicated. We know that environmental factors like climate can allow some species to prosper in locations while excluding others. And we also know that interactions between species, for example, those between plants and their pollinators or between two competing trees for, that are competing for light, can also influence the com combination of species that you see in local environments. And with um, environmental change, understanding the forces that influence local communities has become particularly important. Here at ETH Zurich, my group will be focused on understanding how climate change influences forest communities. We generally expect that warm adapted and drought tolerant trees will increase in abundance at the expense of cold tolerant and um, moisture loving species. However, we also know that there's factors that will add complexity to these interactions. And these are the factors that we want to study. So for example, we know that climate can often influence the strength of species interactions, and these can add unexpected responses and shifts in forest communities. We also know that tree species are very long lived and don't disperse their seeds very far which means that they may not be able to respond as rapidly to climate change as the climate is changing. So here at ETH Zurich, we will use observational monitoring experiments, both in the field and the greenhouse, and models to try to understand these complexities in how forest communities respond to climate change. <laughs> 